I got this email today. Dear Rabbi Avi Fischoff, again, not a rabbi. First, I want to thank you for your courage to fight on behalf of kips like myself, kids in pain like myself. I get emotional listening to your YouTube videos because no one understands kips like you do. I'm reaching out about my older sister, who is now 44 years old. My parents kicked her out of the house 28 years ago when she was around 16 years old because they caught her being Michal Shabbos and not dressing properly. I am married now for 18 years with six kids, yet I am still struggling from anxiety and depression and traumatized from those painful years. Imagine how old she is and she's still suffering from those years. Especially when my mother and I had to barricade ourselves into a locked room after my sister and her boyfriend broke down the front door of our house for being refused to come inside the house. We called the police to arrest them and of course we were extremely embarrassed of our neighbors and life just was never the same after that. Being homeless, my sister got addicted to crack cocaine and ended up in prison multiple times when she was caught stealing to get drugs and doing other illegal activities to get drugs, like we spoke about today. There's this craziness and insanity that if you don't give your kids money that they're gonna stop doing drugs. No, they'll steal and they'll do other things. They will get their drugs that they need for their pain. Now, my sister is suffering from the terrible illness of schizophrenia, which she developed after the last time that she spent nine months in prison. She ended up in the hospital multiple times for attempting suicide. She is not crazy. We can carry normal conversations with her, but she always now hears voices that people are coming to kill her. She even calls me sometimes making sure that I'm okay because she heard voices telling her that something terrible happened to me. She's now living by herself, afraid to leave her room. And we fear that chas v'shalom, she will take her life. P.S. I wish my parents learned your derech while I was growing up because I believe that aside from saving my sister, that me and some of my siblings who are suffering so much still today wouldn't be suffering that much after all these years and we wouldn't be dealing with the pain and suffering even now as middle-aged, successful from adults. People are always saying, if you keep your kids at home, what about the other kids? Well, what happens when kids are raised in a family with a fighting for months and for years and losing a sibling, those, those families that are burying siblings, it's terrible, it's terrible. So this is really a testimony and how careful we have to be and how much we're helping the siblings, even though it's difficult and we have to work with them. We have to do a lot of work with the siblings. How difficult it is when, when their siblings are not embraced and how they deteriorate from Chil Shabbos and Natsnias to drugs, to worse drugs, to worse drugs, to jail, to stealing, to schizophrenia, to mental illness. What a, what a shame. It didn't have to be that way. <laughs>